Hello and welcome to today's customer enablement session. My name is Emma Mirabella and I will be your host today. Presenting today we have Lydia Lee who is a Team Center Applications Engineer here at Saratech. She will be talking to you about what's new in Team Center 2312. Hi everyone, my name is Lydia and I'm a Team Center Applications Engineer here at Saratech where I work to configure and install Team Center for our customers. For today's presentation, I will be going over some of the updates made in the newest version of Team Center 2312. I will start with a quick overview of Team Center and what it is, followed by a comparison with the previous version, Team Center 14. And I will give you so show you some of the changes made into the to the user interface with Active Workspace, which I think really helped to make the web client easier to use. And next, I will go over some of the more notable features added and some of the updates. And in particular, I think the Microsoft Teams integration is very exciting. And I think you will find it too, especially if you were like us and primarily use Teams to communicate at your organization. So going into our overview, if you aren't already familiar, Team Center is a product lifecycle management software developed by Siemens. It is designed to help manage the entire lifecycle of a process of a product from its initial design and creation through production and eventual disposal. Team Center includes several features to assist in business processes such as workflow automation, bomb management, and change management in addition to several others. Team Center also acts as a data management tool to organize and visualize your product data, including everything from PDF files to CAD parts. And perhaps one of the most obvious differences between Team Center 14 and the current version is the new naming convention. Siemens is changing the Team Center versioning to align with many of its other software products by setting the first two digits as the year and the latter two as the month the version is released, as seen here. And another notable comparison, particularly for administrators who will be installing Team Center, is that the installation package for Team Center 2312 now includes Deployment Center, Active Workspace and microservices, in addition to several other Team Center software packages that you would normally need to download separately, as seen here. Oh, there we go, got my laser pointer. And you can see I've highlighted the more notable ones, what you really need to install Team Center. But all of this is what's included in the new Team Center 2312 package. And another difference to note in particular for end users is that the Active Workspace user, user interface has been updated with some significant changes, which I will be going into next. Looking at the Active Workspace interface in 2312, you can already see a few changes in this example of an object page. Now you can find the object's basic information in the top left of the window here. This is where you can filter what version of the object you're looking at based on some of the different categories here, such as the date or revision number. Uh, the primary toolbar is also another notable change in the new version seen here up in the top right corner. Uh, this has moved from where it was previously vertically on the right hand side of the screen, but otherwise, you know, remains mostly the same, just new location there. And the, uh, the work area toolbar here, that's also something that you, notice, you might notice is similar to previous versions if you're familiar with Active Workspace and the work area, as well as the object tabs where you can view different information based off of the object you're looking at. Those all kind of remain pretty similar to previous versions. So mostly what's changed really is, you know, you see the primary toolbar location and now the inclusion of object information up here. Right. And some more changes made to Active Workspace include change ownership and discussions. Previously, when you changed ownership of an object, only the ownership of that particular object could be changed. And now you are able to 
simultaneously change the ownership of related objects in addition to that of the one you have selected. So as you can see here in this screenshot, there's somebody who's check marking right next to a document that is attached to a relate to the object that looks like a part here, an item revision. And um, additionally, um, discussions can now be started from the primary toolbar as seen here with the discussions icon and um, unlike previous versions, a discussion can now be started without requirement of an object already being selected. So that's pretty cool. All right, and with Active Workspace 2312 also comes a more unified interface for the folders page. Opening the folders page now opens a tree view with access to all folders in the same place, both Active folders and favorites are now accessible from this page. While they were previously only accessible from tiles on the home page in Active Workspace. So if you'd notice, if you're someone who's more familiar with the rich client, this looks a little bit more similar to what you might see there. So if you're more comfortable with rich client, this might make you feel a little bit more safe, you know, moving around in Active Workspace. And oh, another thing to note is that the favorites folder will also maintain its position up at the top there, um, no matter what sorting rules that you apply. So that's always nice. And some additional noteworthy enhancements include the removal of the size limit for uploads and downloads. Now, if a file is larger than 150 megabytes, it is broken into chunks and reassembled once the upload or download is complete. Tables are now also easier to scroll through with data loading smoothly as you scroll and with the scroll bar showing where you are in relation to the total size of the table. When viewing a table or tree, you can now show more properties as columns without the need to switch to another column arrangement. And lastly, a visual queue has been added in 2312 to identify the environment a user is logged into, as seen in the screenshot below. And this is how it would look for someone who's obviously logged into their production environment. This might be very useful if you have multiple team center environments and want to make sure that users know if they're logged into their you know, test environment or into production. It could be very useful there. All right. And now some of the new features and updates included with the new release, a new Microsoft Teams app that integrates with your Team Center environment has been added and makes use of Azure OpenAI to assist in problem solving. An additional group and role assignment has been added to Team Center X called Self Admin, which gives the user access to managing Team Center organization, workflows, and performing data related activities such as canceling checkouts and updating properties, as seen in the screenshot to the right here. That's a, someone logged in to the self admin role and looking at the organization page. And several new updates have also been added to the cost and carbon emission calculations in Team Center. Change process management has also been updated to more efficiently manage changes. And Structure Manager has also received some updates in the new version to help managing bombs. And with that, I'll go into a few more details on some of these features that I just listed. One of the more exciting features included with 2312 is the ability to integrate with Microsoft Teams and make use of Azure OpenAI. From the Microsoft Teams app, you can now participate in and receive notifications regarding Team Center workflows. You can also use the OpenAI technology to expertly translate voice recordings and generate problem reports off of these. And OpenAI can also assist users in finding solutions to reported problems. And seen here in the screenshot over here, you can see from the Microsoft Teams, Team Center app, someone who is performing sign offs, one of the tasks for a workflow here, and how that looks from the app, which is pretty cool. And to show you a demonstration using the Team Center app for Teams, we have a quick two minute video from Siemens to show you 
which you will see an example of how the app assists in reporting a problem and how OpenAI is leveraged to help communicate this issue in real time and allow users to more efficiently provide a solution. So one moment while I share the video with you. watching that with me. Um, as you can see, that's just one more way that the Team Center app for Teams can be leveraged to make your business processes run smoother. Give me one second while I pull back up the PowerPoint. There we go. So another update in Team Center 2312 lies in the cost and carbon emission calculation feature. The integration with Siemens Digital Logistics allows you to simulate transportation and carbon footprint data in order to estimate these costs. You can ensure that your cost calculation stays in sync with your price calculation by executing mass data changes to all parts simultaneously. And new and updated reference data has also been added to further increase the value of these calculations and you now have the ability to use your own logic for these calculations via an Excel-based calculator. Change management has also received some updates in the new version of Team Center. You can now view impacted items related to a change or problem item when you select it during change impact analysis. All associated views will be updated whenever you add an impacted item. And you can also now identify non-impactive items and indicate if an object is likely not to be impacted by a change in the impacted candidates table. And another change to, or another update to change management is the ability to now revert bombs to a previous state. This makes it possible to edit bombs now with the comfort of knowing that Team Center is automatically tracking the changes that you make with the ability to go back if this mistake is made.
and you can see here in the screenshot below, this is where someone is reverting to a previous change in the bomb that they're looking at here. So it's pretty easy. All right, and Structure Manager has also been updated in Team Center 2312 with the added feature to check that business rules are validated prior to imports, ensuring that you won't waste time with failed imports of large assemblies. Now you can update large amounts of data at once with the new mass update capabilities, allowing you to add or replace multiple parts at the same time. And administrators now also have opportunities to adjust the structure manager interface by simplifying configuration parameters so that you only see the ones you need. And they can also prevent structures from automatically expanding upon opening them, which could be useful, especially regarding very large structures where you might only want to expand on a few certain sections and not want to load the entire thing. And that concludes my overview of the updates made in Team Center 2312. So you should now have a general understanding of Team Center software and its purpose, as well as some of the major differences between the latest version and Team Center 14. You should also know what major changes have been made to the user interface and have a better understanding of the more notable features added in 2312. Of course, there are many other changes made, but we unfortunately do not have the hours it would take to go over everything. However, if you are interested, please feel free to contact us and we would be happy to provide the Siemens documentation, which encompasses all the changes made. Just be warned that the document is over 100 pages long, but we would be more than happy to share that with you. All right. Then are there any questions? Okay, thank you so much, Lydia. So we have a couple questions. So the first one, is there a special process to configure the team's integration? That's a great question, thank you. Um, so the, yes, there is a slightly different process to integrate teams than maybe what you're normally used to with integrating with other applications. Um, in order to install the Teams integration, you will need to first request access through Siemens by creating a support, support ticket with them on Support Center. And then this is followed by installing the Team Center Teams feature, which can be done through Deployment Center. And there, there's actually there's a Siemens document that has all of the details on all the steps needed to make this configuration, which if any of you are interested, please feel free to contact us and we would be happy to provide that for you. Perfect. And then what is the difference between self admin and DBA users? So that's a great question. Um, the self admin role is meant to give users the privileges to just make basic administrator changes without the full scope of DBA privileges. So a self admin can edit user accounts in Team Center and edit workflows, but they can't say make updates to preferences or access control rules. So they just kind of get really basic administrator privileges, that, if that makes sense. Okay, and then going from upgrade from TC12 or Team Center 12, should we aim for 2312 or Team Center 14? Um, I, I think it all kind of depends on, you know, if you're really looking forward to these new features that come with Team Center 2312. Um, that being said, 2312 is very, very new, and, and oftentimes we try to recommend going for, you know, the previous version to whatever's whatever latest is out. So I think I think it's up to you on whether you really are excited for maybe the team's integration or if that's not something that's really necessary, maybe sticking with the, like the latest version of Team Center 14. I think that's 14.3. So I think that would be my recommendation is to, you know, decide on which features you really, really want if, if that is in 23.12 or um, it might be safer to stick with the latest version of Team Center 14. 
Thank you so much for attending and have a great day, everyone.